schedule to be completed and open for filming this spring. So you were really part of this tree. The buildings you're going to be seeing here are mainly what are called facades. They're just the fronts and sides of the buildings. We only build what the camera will see. We let your imagination fill in the rest. And what appears to be brick or stone is, in some cases, lightweight material like foam, rubber, or fiberglass. Prior to the fire, the insides of these facades weren't usable. However, several of them now feature an open interior space with steel infrastructures. So now a production can shoot both interior and exterior shots on these sets. On the right here is New York Street, featured recently in Spider-Man 2. And these sets also provided the backdrop for a battle between the Autobots and the Decepticons in the 2007 the original Transformers movie. And coming up on the right here is Brownstone Street, featured in Newman's Block with Clint Eastwood, Change of Habit with King Elvis, and Sting with Robert Redford, and the days with all mystery men with Ben Stiller, Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey, and Clint Eastwood returned to Brownstone Street to direct sequences from Changeling with Angelina Jolie. Right now we are making our way into Courthouse Square, which is currently dressed as the town of Grandview from the Ghost Whisperer series with Jennifer Love Hewitt. On the left you can see the same as it never was antique store, and also on the left across the square is the Grandview City Hall. And in the process of rebuilding and restoring some of these sets, we took the, the fire station of all things and repositioned it here to the right to the west side of the square. And the fire station here is practical. It can accommodate an entire hook and ladder there. The whole fire truck can go in there. And Port Hill Spray has had quite a number of uses over the years. For instance, it became the town of Hill Valley in the Back to the Future films with Michael J. Fox. So from Back to the Future, that Grandview City Hall was the courthouse and the clock tower. So here's what courthouse square looked like in the 1950s scenes, 1955. And here it is. Here's courthouse square in Psycho 2. And to kill the Mockingbird. That became more of Buffalo, New York for Bruce Almighty and Hill Valley in the far distant year of 2015 in Back to the Future Part 2. It's the job of the art director to transform these sets into different locations and various time periods for filming. For instance, right now we're going to cross over that New York Street that I was telling you folks about. By the way, the New York Street here also became Los Angeles in the late 1920s for Changeling with Angelina Jolie under the direction of Clint Eastwood. And New York Street comes complete with it. It's also featured in the 24 television series. New York Street comes complete with its own Broadway theaters and even its own Macy's theaters here to the left. But he brought 34th Street here to Southern California. And also take a look at the size of the buildings. They've been increased to over 50 feet tall to give the camera the illusion that these buildings are as tall as the real ones in New York. Now we're going to move from New York across the pond to another part of the world. Off to your right hand side, you'll see a church. In order to give our filmmakers the most possible flexibility, the church was designed to be non-denominational, allowing us to film a variety of church scenes. It even comes with an adjacent square. Left and 